Hi, my name is Jacob Youngblood. I'm a web developer here at National Control Devices. Today I'm going to show you how to find and change the COM port of your relay controller. The first thing you're going to need to do is download all the necessary drivers and connect the controller to your computer. After you've done that, go down to Start, Control Panel, and Device Manager. From here, expand the Ports icon, and you'll see all the COM ports listed there. I have a USB relay controller attached to COM port 3. If you want to change it, you can right-click on it, hit Properties, Port Settings, Advanced, and through this drop-down menu, you can change it to whatever COM port you would like. We recommend not going above 10. All right, I'm going to change it to COM port 6 and hit OK, and you'll say Yes. OK. Now it'll refresh, and you'll see that it was attached to COM port 6. And you would need to change this on any software communicating to this device. If you have a Bluetooth relay controller, you might find that one relay controller is taking up two different COM ports. This is normal. You'll just need to do a little troubleshooting to find out which one is actually communicating to your device. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. And now I'll show you how to find and change your COM port using Windows XP. First thing you're going to want to do is attach your relay controller and download all the drivers for it. And you go to Start, Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Computer Management, and you'll want to go to Device Manager. From here, you'll see the COM ports icon. Expand that. And I have a USB relay controller attached to mine, and as you can see, it's using COM port 9. Uh, if you'd like to change the COM port, you can right-click on it, Properties, Port Settings, Advanced, and right here you can change the COM port. I'll change mine to COM port 8. Hit OK, OK, close out of this, and reopen it. And you should see your new COM port here. Um, if you change the COM port, make sure you change the COM port on any applicable software that is communicating with this device. And that's it. Thank you.